Hi there and welcome. I'm on 11 Labs. Going to show you how to customize your widget. I've showed you about the agent, the voice analysis advanced, and now we're going to go into widgets. I'm in a bot called Support Agent. I can go into Test and test it. Notice the color, um, not my type, not my colors. And um, let's go on to customizing it. So we're going to go into widget because I want to add it to my website and uh, we'll change the colors and we'll be able to see how things go. Let me close that on the left. All right. So right now, these are the colors. Okay. Um, background is white. As you can see, I like a white background, but you don't have to have that. And the text color is in black. Notice also it says start a call and need help. You can also change that. So I've scrolled down until I got to start a call button. Okay, that's what it says, start a call. And I want to call this assistant. And then notice end call um, at the end. I think that's fine. Or you can change that. Now call to action for the assistant. Um, you know, it's right now it says need help. I don't like that. So I'm going to um, remove that. Okay, now I've got to have something so I can't have, notice what happens when I have that or I have zero, it'll be zero. So you need something. So I'm going to ask, how can I help you? Okay, how can I help you? Because any more would be too, too long. All right, uh, anything else? Uh, status listening. Okay, you want to change that instead of it saying listening, you could say uh, and. Okay, for example, let's see how that looks. Uh, speaking status, talk to interrupt. I think I'll leave that. Uh, talk to interrupt. Okay, that's part of it, but you can change that as well. Description. Okay, you might want to change this as well. And then don't forget to save at the bottom. All right, so now we have everything but the color. Let's go back up because I do want to change the color. First of all, first color. Okay, we can click on that. Okay, and then we get this palette. Let me see what color I'd like. Purple. Hmm, not sure about that. Okay, uh, but it's getting better. Okay, but because I don't like the second one. This one I would definitely change. And notice uh, what you can change it to. That's better. Or there's the pink. Or no, that one seems to be the same. Okay, so... Um, I think this one will be nice. The first color, you can have it the same. And if you want to get it to be the same, all you need to do is copy the code and just add it here, and then you'll have it exactly the same. Okay, for both. Okay, that, that's kind of nice. Uh, that's my mood today, or at least now. And then we'll say, let's see if there's anything else here that we'd like to change. Uh, the button color, we said that the background, okay, white. But you can change this as well. Uh, for example, I like white, but uh, the text, um, but you know what? Let me change this as well. Let's see what happens when we change it to the same one. Okay, so let me add that one. Ooh, that's too much. Okay, but the color will definitely, so I'm not going to do that, but maybe blue. Let's see how that looks. So you can try it out. Wow. And, and see if you like it or not. Okay, it should be lighter, right, uh, to have this contrast. Um, I would like it to be white. Okay, so we're back to something like white. And um, so for the um, button color, okay, we've got the button color. It's black. So this is where I'm going to change it and make it the same color. All right, so here we go. Yeah, but it's not exactly the same, is it? So let's uh, kind of change it. See if we can get, yeah, I think I like that one. And then um, the text color is white now. Okay, white's fine. Border, um, I don't know if I want a border, but
but let's try a border and see what that looks like. So you play around until, okay, that's a border. Hmm, not bad. And focus, outline, color, black. No, I don't like black. So let me change that to the same. See what happens with that. Okay, I'm not sure. All right, so there we go. Okay, that's, uh, okay, those are amazing colors, right? Now, how can I help you? You can also change that uh, from black to uh, maybe this color again, okay? Ooh. Okay, great, play around with it, come up with the colors that you want. I'm not sure that I like the border. Okay, so with the border, I'm gonna go with um, no border. Okay, so just get rid of no border. Let's see if that works. Great, all right. Now, we've got our widget ready. Notice here we're going to copy the embed code and add it wherever we want it, and then it'll appear. If you've got a website, you might want it there. But you can also get the link if you just click on this, the clipboard. Go into a browser window, and here it is. Here it comes, and this is what it looks like. A uh, call to action is in black. I think I wanted that. So you can take a look and see what it looks like. You can also test it, by the way. It's time for what? I'm ready to help you with whatever you need. Just tell me what's on your mind. I'm here to help you with anything you need. What can I do for you today? All right, I'd like um, the color customized on 11 Labs, Conversational AI. Can you help me with that? And notice the silence. And the reason it's silent is because it can't understand what I'm saying. It wasn't programmed. I didn't set it up for that. Okay, so let's try again. You're very welcome. Is there anything specific I can help you with today? Yes, uh, you can tell me how to uh, start my day. Any suggestions on the best way to start my day? Notice it doesn't work. So let's go back into our bot and make sure that you feed it whatever you want. So if you go back to agent, notice it only says, um, how can I help you today? You are support name, you're friendly, enthusiastic customer to get uh, help with what they need, answer in three to seven sentences in most cases. All right, I might wanna change this to pro, uh, let's see, knowledge base. Um, okay, now in this knowledge base, you can add, notice a lot of information there, but I can show you what I did with mine so you can get an idea of what kind of information I added so that I can get a lot more out of the bot. So notice in this case, I added all this information to the bot. I also changed the widget. I like those colors. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, let me start. Hi there. As part of your reflection on the AI generated online course you just took, a bot will guide you through the process. Your task is to engage thoughtfully with each prompt. What AI tools surprised or challenged you the most so far? I think Notebook LM surprised me the most. That's great to hear. Can you elaborate on what aspects of Notebook LM you found particularly surprising? I like the fact that it created amazing uh, podcasts. That's interesting. How do you see yourself using Notebook LM's podcasting capabilities in your teaching? That's a great question. Thank you for asking. You are welcome. Take your time to consider the possibilities. I am here to help you process your thoughts and explore the potential applications of these tools in your teaching practice. Isn't that amazing? Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss about your experience with the AI tools in the course? No, that's fine. Thank you. So there, I ended the conversation. And there I can add my feedback. And I will add thumbs up. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions about uh, creating a conversational AI with 11 laps.